Welcome to the Eliza Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover the most essential part of using Eliza controller, the source parameters on the soundscape. To unlock the parameters, first select a source where you will see the sliders for pan, width, distance, elevation, and accent. Pan moves your source around the soundscape, to the right, to the left, behind, or in a full circle. Specific pan position values can be typed in directly, and you can also move the source on the soundscape itself. Width is represented by a bar coming out of the source, widening the sound by spreading the energy across multiple speakers. Distance physically moves the source away with attenuation in both gain and high frequency. This also feeds into the 3D room engine. These distance processing settings for each source can be configured in the Processing tab in the Sources page. When working on a project with height information, go to the Display drawer and enable Elevation View. You will now see a source represented twice, one for pan and distance, and one for pan and elevation represented in the 2D Soundscape view. The final parameter is the auxiliary send, which is represented by a black bar filling in the source. This can be used to feed subwoofers or an alternate system. When selecting two or more sources, the pan spread parameter is enabled. When increasing pan spread, each source in the selection will spread around its center point like a fan opening up. To note, Pan spread cannot spread sources past 180 degrees, but you can still move the groups of sources as shown. You can reset the value of any parameter to its default state by pressing the I button, as well as lock each parameter from any further changes. This has been the Eliza Studio Quick Start for Source Parameters.